Caning is a form of punishment in Malaysia where people are hit with a rattan cane. It's used for about 60 different crimes, including theft, rape, and kidnapping. Most of the time, it's done secretly. But in the early 2000s, they started doing it in public for serious crimes like rape and incest. Amnesty International, a group that watches over human rights, spoke up in December 2010. They asked Malaysia to stop using caning so much. They said it's cruel and makes permanent scars on people, both physically and mentally. They mentioned that many of the people getting caned are foreigners and the government should stop this punishment no matter what the crime is. Amnesty International's report, called a blow to humanity, said that caning is like torture and mistreatment. It hurts thousands of people every year. Some of these people are refugees who had to escape terrible situations in other countries. Using caning as punishment is against international rules. People who work for the government in Malaysia and do the caning could be in big trouble worldwide for violating human rights. Malaysia's economy depends on workers from nearby countries. Amnesty International asked these countries, especially Indonesia, to tell Malaysia to stop caning their citizens. They had three suggestions for Malaysia, stop caning now and work toward getting rid of it, agree to follow international human rights rules, and change the law to treat immigration problems as administrative issues, not crimes. In Malaysia, caning is brutal. People are tied up, and a trained person hits them on their bare buttocks with a thick, wet rattan cane. The pain is so bad that some people pass out. The government doesn't punish the people who do the caning, but instead, they give them bonuses for every hit. Some even take bribes to miss their target on purpose. Doctors who work for the government also play a role in this punishment. They check if the person can handle the caning. If the person passes out during it, the doctors wake them up so the caning can continue. People often end up with lasting injuries, which goes against the rules for doctors. It's important to know that caning is different for men and women in Malaysia. Men get hit on their bare buttocks with a thick stick, causing painful injuries. Women, if they are caned, get hit on their covered backs with a thinner cane. 